So, huh? Lawyer. So, all. No, you're playing. So, it is Saturday. It's like 3, 2. Um, and we are in Ramez, which is like near Landmark and Golf Mall kind of thing. And it's just like filled with everything basically you can find anything here and we found like cuppings basically and we've got like two of them if you don't know what cupping is it's basically wait how do you explain cupping Shuf, i'll show you ah suction cups thank you guinea you know you know so you got two of them no i don't think so um so yeah there's like every is it called utilities like kitchen utilities and you know what i'm saying <laughs> give it to him give it to him <laughs> anyways i want to show you my outfit because it's so gorgeous we can find black bleach here yeah, you can wear black face. You're recording. I'm wearing, I'm wearing my mom's old abaya. Uh, this was her size when she was very young. <laughs> and got my Tory brush bag and heels, like the usual. I'm so colorful today, although it's all black, but crazy. colorful. It's crazy. What are you doing, fun? I found Aya. We are gonna go grocery shopping later on. <gasps> I need to find books, highlighters, and so and so. I've got a lot of homeworks. I finally got my laptop charger. I got my laptop charger, got it earlier. Hemdina, so. I'll, I'll, I wanna stay productive. Let's be productive, yeah? No? Okay. I love my makeup. If only my lashes could stay like up. Like the place is like really packed with stuff. But everything here is like cheap and everything. Abba? What is that? <laughs> Yeah. Look at these plates. Oh, I want. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, I'm sure. Okay, okay, found the thing that we really been like really looking for. My mom wants like the these. I don't know what they call jugs. I don't know what they call it. What do they call this? Jugs, yeah. Kettle. Kettle. Mm. I don't know. You know when like you put chai and karak and tea and everything Boring like that. Thing. My mom wants it like with the um, Arabic writing. Favorite section, favorite section. What this is? Okay. Okay, this one or this one. No follow which one? This one. I don't I'm know the options, you. man. Here, 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 here. Hi. This one. No. So much. Good on my head. Huh? So I put my head like this. It's comfortable. Our basket is full. No way, I thought it was empty. It's full. We're done, yalla. We are in Doha Festival City. We're gonna get food. I don't think we're gonna shop because we've done shopping. Do you know what I'm saying? Shopping for what? So what? I know exactly. That's why I'm saying. They brought me all the way here. That's what I said. Even though we can just go to Lulu and just buy stuff there. This is what I have this to do. This is so stupid. Done? No. Go on. I'm all ears. This is generation now. Without social media. 
We would be living so, um, 600 yeah, we're gonna years. Shh. 69. Seven, seven. We're gonna go eat. Wait, what are you eating? I want KFC. I'm craving so hard, huh? Yeah. It's Pinterest, Pinterest. Anyways, we're gonna grocery shop. Oh, kita belanja di mana? Lulu. Yeah. I'm so hungry. Yalla, bye. Oh. Rate the food. Huh? Rate the food today. We had Pizza Hut and we took home KFC. Rate it, rate it. No, it's just seven. Seven. No, it was 7.5. Five. Actually, five. Good morning. You joined me again on another Friday doing my makeup, you know, getting ready for the day. Um, today is a special day because it is Jay's birthday. Um, it's my best friend's birthday and I don't really go big on birthdays. Um, I don't buy presents because then I'll feel like I have to top up the next um, year or something. So I don't like expectations. So <laughs> I don't know. It's just it makes sense to me that I, you know, it's just presents are nice. Presents are nice, but the rush. I don't like the rush of trying to find a birthday present. And I don't know. Like between these times, I don't really remember the dates. You know, like what the day is today, what the date is, and it just yeah. August honestly felt long, I can't even lie. Um, but you know what? It's September the 2nd. We're gonna live with it. We're gonna roll with it. I don't really know what to do for her birthday. Um, last year we chilled at her house. Um, and yeah, we just, you know, chilled. I want to go out this time with her mom, herself, um, and whatnot. So if we can, inshallah, we can. But yeah, I'm gonna make brownies today. That's why I'm like waking up real early. Honestly, nine is not even early for me. It's like late for me. I don't know because I think I'm used to like waking up at six, and even before that, I wake up at seven. This and that. So yeah. I'm excited. Also, last Saturday, which is like the clip before this, I went to Dohaya and I got this mirror, which is like adorable. It has light. I don't even know why I'm using the light. No, it does make a difference. Okay. I'll show you guys at the end this mirror that I bought. And it's real nice. It's real nice. Um, yeah. I think this is our third week in school. And honestly, I am enjoying it. Like, I am enjoying myself. Inshallah, it stays like this to the end of the year. <laughs> it can't be promised, but you know what? Let's just pray for the best. I went to the dollar store, which is just like everything is in there. And it's for cheap as well. I went to there. I went to the dollar store and I found the essence, like makeup thing and i was like that's not usually there you know i got myself three mascaras by the way excuse the printer we're like moving um and cleaning things out from my brother's room again um because why not i got the lash princess mascara from essence this is the false lash effect mascara i got this in teal and i got it in the blue i'll show you and then i got the blue one this is um the waterproof one i don't know why i bought the waterproof one I kind of regret it. I don't know. I haven't tried it. I've tried this one. It's like, it's good. Um, but it doesn't lengthen. It just like... <sighs> it volumizes it. Which is different to lengthening. But then I got the pink one. This is the I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. Um, and then we went to Kiko. We bought the... Daily Protection BB Cream SPF 30. I'm not sure. But it's like amazing. This is in the shade 05. Like me and my mom, we have like really like dry skin. And it's just really nice. It leaves the skin like shimmery. 
not too oily but yani it looks moisturized you know um, and I really love this so run this one wasn't on sale I think this one was like 59 or 69 and then we bought the sculpting touch it's like a contour stick um, cream contour because I'm really trying to move to cream products right now and like less of powder so yeah this is in the shade what shade is this? 201 okay literally haven't used it but it's a dark shade it's like it leaves like a gray color but you buy the powder this is the magic this is the radiant touch bronzing powder literally gorgeous this is in the shade 03 it's gorgeous literally I'm in love okay so we have picture day in school I think um, by the end of next week so like Thursday or something or Wednesday I'm not sure but I got this like dark bit on my nose and inshallah it goes away when I'm taking my picture for school because they're updating the register um, pictures, the sims picture and it needs to be gone literally yesterday, Thursday I went out the house to school with full face makeup on I literally did my eyeshadow when I wasn't supposed to I did them in pink I was gonna take it off but I was like you know what who cares let's just go with it so that's what I did I'm feeling very pink so yesterday I took a bit of pink I put it at the back of my hand I take my eyeshadow um, brush and then just going in with that I think I started with um, blush first actually Wait, my shade is going to dab a bit and then I'm going to- oh my god I didn't even do my brows yet I don't know if I've talked about this but I uploaded a vlog on Monday and I felt like it wasn't the best I still uploaded it anyways and then throughout the week, this week, people just like messaged me, whatever, and then it like literally just made my um, day about my vlog and how much they loved it. So if you're watching, I love you. Let me show you my cool mirror. I'm literally like so happy that I got this. So there's this lighting, which is like white blue lighting, and then there's the warm lighting, and there's a mix of both, which I always use. Um, and it comes, it's like, um, you need to charge it, so there's like this little thing, and then also comes with a stand, and this just goes here, and then you can adjust it to different like positions, you know? I am excited for today, it's a Friday, I need to get some things cleaned out, I need to do my homework, oh my god, I need to do my homework because I don't want to stress about it tomorrow, you know, I want to get everything, like, done, completed, accomplished, achieved today. I'm going to clean up my lids and then I'll get to baking. Hi, so I'm going to start baking. I'll show you the process. So, the recipe will be in the description down below. If you make it, send me a pic, you know, tell me what you think about the recipe and everything. Um, yeah, let's get started. So we need 185 grams of unsalted butter melted with dark chocolate, 185. I don't know if you can hear, but I'm already like melting it. So for the chocolate, I don't use milk chocolate. I don't feel like it's right to use milk chocolate, but hey, that's your preferences. But yeah, I use dark chocolate. I use the Amelia one. Um, there's like four, three different brands here. Lady Chit, Lady Chit, Delozio, Pierre. I need 185 grams of that. Literally the best chocolate. Um, I'm not sure how many percent this is, but I am in love and I've always used this. Okay, they are chunky like this. Um, so I'm gonna just chop it up so it can melt faster. I don't 
like melting my chocolate inside the microwave because I always end up burning the chocolate if you get what I mean so I always do it like on the stove with boiling water usually for brownies I go for a hand mixer you can use the electric whisk thing but I like I like this it's easier and it's a quick recipe it doesn't really involve much steps so yeah okay I'm just using um, a bowl while the chocolate and butter is melting, I'm going to start off with three large eggs. I feel so cool when I do one-handed. And then after three eggs, I'm going to add 200 grams of sugar. I'm going to actually like lower that to maybe 175. And then I'm just going to whisk it until it's fully combined. So once your mixture looks a bit like this, okay, I don't want to tilt it over. Um, we're gonna add 40 grams of cocoa powder and 85 grams of flour. So let's do that. Okay, my chocolate has melted completely, and I'm going to add a pinch of salt because salt brings out more of the flavor. So yeah, just a pinch. I'm using a fan to make it cool quicker because I got things to do and I don't have all the time. So yeah, I've measured out 85 grams of flour and I'm going to sieve it into the mixture. And then I'm going to measure out four... Why is it when I'm recording, things just interrupt me? How rude! Oh my god. Yeah, give me patience. Hold on. You know... If this recipe sounds like familiar to some of you because it should <laughs> because if you did cooking in school my school you probably have used this recipe okay and then to that I'm going to add the cooled chocolate put all of that oh my god that is the chili. Amazing. Mm. Okay, I'm not gonna put all of it inside. Well, I'm not gonna scrape any more of that because I'm gonna like indulge into that. Oh my god, that's all the word indulge. Mm. And then I'm gonna mix that in together. Now it will look like this. It's thick but it will still make ribbons gorge anyways this looks like goodness um now i'm gonna wash my hands Wait. okay so for the pan i use this baking tray basically this bit comes out i'm not sure where this is from actually but this thing comes out right and then after your brownies is baked you take this cutter that comes with the pan and you just put it in and it cuts your brownies like how convenient is that how convenient yeah how convenient is that i'm going to spray this with cooking oil or what is this pam Okay, so I put it all in and I'm gonna leave it inside the oven for like 25 minutes. I'll keep checking it until it's done. Okay, so I just took it out of the oven. Sorry for the shakiness, but it should create this like gold layer on top. Can you see? I'm gonna let it cool just for a bit and then I'm gonna use the thing to cut it. My brownies have now cooled and I'm just gonna grab the cutter, line it up with the pan. Like this. And then push. No. There we go. Voila. Look, you guys can see. Look. So that's no. So good, and the sweetness is just perfect. I feel like if I kept it at 200, it would have been too sweet. So this is just perfect. It would have been more fudger 
if it were more thinner. I did do that when I first started um, doing brownies like that, but I've got this pen now and I feel like I prefer this pen. Um, but yeah, it's so nice. Also, I forgot you can take this out and put it like this. And it's so easy to clean. Get yourself one. Get your help. On wood. I need help on Boston. No way. Or. Okay, I like it. Plates, 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 plates. Yeah, Scoots? Um, Sorry, my mom's vacuuming and I can hear it. Great, it's back. Also, you like Ahmed's haircut? Come show. Yeah. No? Why? It's nice, it's so nice. Look. Here. Taste it, taste it, taste it, taste it. Great, Great, it. Seven out of ten. Seven? Nine. Nine? High five. You're the best. Yeah. Uh, I have one more. Sure, yeah. I forgot to end the vlog yesterday like I usually do, but I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me bake, you know, sharing the recipe with you guys. If you do make the brownies using my recipe, please let me know what you think of it. Send me a pic on Instagram, leave a comment down below what you think about it, and all sorts of things. Um, but yeah, give this video a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!